The planet is looking for a balance in the self. Since the self is a composite of all things, it is a harmonic that balances all of your extraterrestrial selves, multidimensional selves, and male and female selves. As you excess multidimensionality, you must merge male and female. You will not stop at the separation or fight between men and women that has been going on for thousands of years. Who is creating the separation between men and women? It is the Creator Gods who have set up this paradigm for you and instigated these frequencies from other points of view. The separation story has served them well because of the havoc it has created. The male vibrations came into power in recent times some 5,000 years ago. In order to slowly recognize who they were, they completely and totally disassociated themselves from anything that was formerly in power, the matriarchal movement and females. Females operate traditionally through the realms of intuition and feeling. Males have also been carriers of intuition and feeling a multitude of times. But in this recent separation, they did not carry feelings with them. There was a huge schism, and the males and females on the planet came into great conflict. Why did this occur? It was a setup. It was set up by the Creator Gods who took over the planet and raided the reality, feeding, keeping themselves alive and functioning, and nourishing themselves off emotional turmoil. Remove yourselves from your personal drama and realize that it is all symbolic. You don't need to take what you are doing personally or carry it as a personal burden as if it is just yours. It is not just yours. It is universal. As members of the family of light, you have come here to transmute for the species. As soon as you get less attached to the dramas, you will not feel so caught up and victimized by them. You will understand that this is a collective of energy you are dealing with. So, collectively, if you can come to the realization inside yourselves, you can broadcast a new vibration for women and men to harmonize with. All of this is now coming to a point of stabilization or equalization. The female began to open her throat about 30 years ago, making the opportunity to speak fashionable. The problem is that many females ended up shutting down their feeling centers as they opened their speech centers. They began to become very much like males. A balance is needed. Now the female is finding the need to awaken the feminine principle inside herself. She is in a female body and has mastered the use of the male vibration within herself. She has gone out into the world and she feels powerful. She can walk the streets without a veil on her face, and she can decide whether she wants to be married. She is her own property. She is responsible in this country for her own decisions. She is beginning to soften and to awaken the portion of herself that nurtures her and brings her life. As she makes herself whole with her male and female portions, and allows herself to experience the evolved DNA, she broadcasts this frequency. This frequency will become very prevalent upon the planet. It is inevitable that men will open their feeling centers. That is the next step men must go through to establish a balance with the female. This will happen very quickly for men. It will not be a 30-year process because men at this time are moving as a populace into confusion. Men are realizing that they don't like what is occurring and they are questioning authority. You do not have a pantheon of powerful female creator images. You have nothing on which to pattern a positive image of the empowered feminine. So men are striving to be male 
and women are striving to be empowered through a male vibration because you do not have a clear vision of the empowered female. You must create it. Begin to recognize the wealth of energy in the female version of self, which is intuition, receptivity, creativity, compassion, and nourishment. You are discovering that there is a wealth of identity in an essence that has been discredited for a long time. If you are female, of course, you are a living form of that essence. Men must discover their form of the goddess within themselves where the goddess meets the god in them. By the same token, the view of the masculine is distorted. You do not have an example of an empowered feeling male. Society has deemed feeling male soft and lacking in masculinity. Men are beginning to look at their emotions and say, Hey, I feel this, and know that they are still men. So men and women are both creating role models for empowered, integrated versions of masculine and feminine. These models are coming, and they are coming quickly. The time for separation is finished. As all of you are on the path of integrating the polarities within yourselves, difficult issues are going to come up over and over again. Welcome the difficult times, for they can be your greatest teacher. Stay focused on your own growth, your own path, and your own self, and not on what others are doing. Call on your own internal masculine and feminine and set up a dialogue between them so that they can begin to work in partnership and harmony. Give yourself a lot of love and encouragement. Make an appointment with yourself and say, I love you, self. You are a wonderful self. You are A number one, the best self. You are here to master a very difficult task in a system that is dark and gives very little input, stimulation, or information about the true story. You are here to do the impossible. By committing to love yourself and making this commitment the number one step from which you operate every day, everything falls into place. You become whole and complete. Then you are ready for a bonded relationship with another who is complete and that relationship can take you into unexplored realms. When the library of yourselves was torn from the shelves and scattered, and the DNA was split so that there were only two strands left with very little data and very little memory, sexuality was left intact in the physical body. It was left as a form of reproduction, of course, as a form for the species to stay in touch with its own essence and bring itself into life. Very deep inside the mechanism of sexuality is a frequency that can be attained that has been sought after and misunderstood by many people. It is called orgasm. Sexuality connects you with the frequency of ecstasy, which connects you back to your divine source and to information. The discovery of the highest frequency of sexuality arises from the love experience. It has nothing to do with relationships being either homosexual or heterosexual. It has to do with two human beings bringing pleasure to one another in a way that opens frequencies of consciousness. Love is the essence that is to be created in all relationships. If you love and honor someone, it doesn't matter what your composition of density is. What matters is the love vibration and how you explore this love, which ideally is gifted and coupled with the integration of the male and female counterparts that make the twin flame. Ideally, sexuality is explored through feelings, the third and fourth chakras connect you to the emotional and compassionate selves, which connect you to the spiritual self. The spiritual self is the part of yourself that is multidimensional, through which you exist in many forms simultaneously. 
it is your assignment and agreement and task to be aware of all of these realities in the identity that you are. When you are aware, you can tune into the different frequencies, remember who you are, and change the vibratory rate of this universe. 